essay must be comprehensive, logical, and follow what the question asks. If the question asks you to list, then list. If the question asks you to discuss a topic, then discuss the extent to which that argument holds. Writing an essay in an exam was similar to me explaining to my best friend the reasons why I believe his girlfriend may have been cheating on him. Introduction Brother, I hope I don't break your heart when I tell you this, but I feel Stacy is cheating on you. You're getting horned. The purpose of this story is to explain that you are getting horned because she is buying new commodities, you have highlighted some recent problems in the relationship, and according to her Facebook status, it appears the love is lost. First, I saw her in the company of two of her girlfriends in the mall, buying a new dress and perfume, saying that she wants to look her best to burn some eye at the party. When I informed you of this development, you knew nothing about any upcoming parties with her friends or with you. However, it is important to note that graduation is nearing and some persons have begun making plans to dress to impress and on the night, maybe she plans to surprise you also. Second, you have complained that she has been calling you later than usual, that in your phone calls, you have three minutes with her, yet every time you call, she puts you on hold to end another conversation. That is suspect and that smells of a horn. Remember the time she called you Michael? Who is Michael? At the same time, I have read about the announcement of Michael Ford as the featured speaker of graduation night, having been awarded the most outstanding student in academia. Therefore, there is room for doubt and some credibility in the argument that she may be making late night calls for her studies. Last, her Facebook statuses suggest a newfound joy in Beyonce's hit song, Single Ladies. And last, I remembered you were both in a relationship. Moreover, her relationship status is no longer up. What does this mean? It means a lot for you to make up your mind about Stacy. On the contrary, Facebook stalking is unethical and therefore one cannot bring this forward as evidence to Stacy in order for us to get a response. In conclusion, we can accept that a woman does have the liberty to choose whomever she interacts with and post music online in which she enjoys. In addition, the margin of error is too high in order to make any conclusions about Stacy and her commitment to you. However, a horn is not a nice feeling, my brother, and thinking about a horn is worst. Now, let's take a real example. European cultural institutions continue to impact Caribbean society and culture in the independence period. To what extent do you agree with this statement? My introduction would establish the fact that the European arrivals to the Caribbean damaged the civilization of indigenous peoples and implanted economic systems of oppression in the region. Next, European influence stretched beyond the field of economics. It informed our social, cultural and political institutions in our landscape. Between the 1950s and 1960s, Independence was an effort to delink ourselves from our colonial masters. However, we can see in the fields of education, politics and language where there is a back and forth between European and West Indian thought and action. First, in education, we have standards such as CXE, CAPE, that give us common exams on our reality. At the University of the West Indies, we have studies grounded in the Caribbean experience. However, our theoretical standpoints sometimes continue to be centered around European thinkers. In addition, courses such as Caribbean history and literature are not treated in high regard as European traditions in history and literature taught in the classroom. Lloyd Best and other Caribbean writers wrote of the epistemological problematique. Our knowledge is produced outside of ourselves. However, we have had spaces and writings of resistance in the works of George Laming, Elsa Govaya, and Rex Nettleford, just to name a few, who have attempted to decolonize minds in Caribbean scholarship. Second, I would elaborate on the point of the rise of Caribbean political classes in the English-speaking Caribbean. However, the Westminster system inherited from Britain has in many ways been inadequate in dealing with our Caribbean context. Moreover, we continue to have archaic laws in our justice system, while the very European powers whom we inherited the system from have advanced them in some regards. In some territories, the political system failed 
to widen the political process and democracy as promised in independence, which led one scholar to write, the complexion changed, but the complexity is the same. Language is important to the Caribbean space. In Cape Communication Studies, we have learned to appreciate the value of our indigenous creoles. However, as seen in the case of Jamaica, there have been constant debates on the legitimizing of Jamaican patois in formal education. Many citizens within the region see our First Nation language as inferior. However, this is not the rule for all Caribbean territories. In Haiti, Creole as a national language has been encouraged with the political support and therefore more persons in the public can access state resources through the language they most frequently speak. In conclusion, the Caribbean has made some significant steps in our history to delink ourselves from former European powers. However, culturally and in the minds of people, European institutions still influence and carry power within our landscape. As a student of the Caribbean, it is therefore my duty to fulfill the struggle of our leaders, mothers and fathers before me in order to truly build a Caribbean society for Caribbean people.